Ah, so here we're here in Taklakola. Um, today we're going to be heading towards Thajachar, and that's over Chiangola, which is the final 5,000 meter pass of the whole trek. We've got about 18 days left before we get to Hilsa, and uh, and then that's it. So I'm really going to enjoy the last uh, the last climb to 5,000 meters. Um, we've um, this is a beautiful campsite lovely um, lovely woods here that we're camped in and there's these four Nepali guys uh, camped a couple of hundred yards away and uh, they said they're here for nine days uh, collecting for collecting specimens for t Tibetan medicine or something it's interesting um, so yeah it's not raining doesn't look particularly bad weather today which is nice I don't really want to get wet on the way up to a 5,000 meter pass um, so yeah we're just packing up the tent we're gonna make a move Well, the um, path was pretty difficult to follow um, at the start. As soon as we got above the tree line and out of the forest, we uh, it, it opened up a little bit. And it's been pretty easy to follow all day, really. Um, it's been a long way up. We've done probably 1,300 meters of ascent today. It's a long way. We can just about see where we camped two days ago, that beautiful campsite. And uh, I think that the ridge on the horizon that we can see is Yalala that we came over a couple of days ago. But this is um, this is Chiang Chiangola, um, which is um, the final 5,000 meter um, pass, 5,150 meters. Again, just like Yalala, it's teeming with Chortons. Um, there's hundreds of them up here loads of prayer flags um, really special these places in the last couple of days these um, passes but um, can't see anything over the other side just a white out um, the clouds are kind of billowing over the top and uh, just can still just about see what's where we've come from but yeah Chiangola and um, I don't think it's a particularly long trek to get down to where we're going to camp tonight. Um, I think we've made pretty good time and we started quite early, so there we go. The hike down from the pass wasn't anything too difficult. I managed to follow the path all the way and uh, some nice views on the way down. Nice scenery. But uh, here we are in Thajinkor, 
Um, I'm probably butchering that pronunciation. Got a bit, bit of cloud up there. We can't quite see what's up there, but it's a nice meadow. Seems to be uh, quite a popular spot for camping. There's a, there's a big uh, rem remains of a campfire there. And the river's just over there and there's a bunch of streams coming down. So it's a nice place to camp. Um, but uh, yeah, it's been a quite a long day. It's been um, eight hours we've been hiking. But um, yeah, we're gonna put the tent up, have something to eat. We've got a long day tomorrow. We're gonna try and do a day and a half of hiking tomorrow to get to Tija, which should have uh, food available, maybe, maybe somewhere to sleep so we don't have to camp.